Hi everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for being here during my live stream. I greatly appreciate your support. I've pre-recorded this so that we can have some of the behind the scenes done while you listen to me for just a moment. I again want to thank you so very much for being here during my live stream. If you could give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can come join us. And if you will also give me a comment in the comment section after this video is done and then definitely speak up in the chat and say hi. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Now, if you're watching this as a replay, generally, if you're on a computer, you can go down below and look for the little gear. You can change that and make the speed faster. If you're on a mobile device, look up in the corner, up in this area for three little dots, and you can change the speed there as well. Those of you that are here live, do definitely speak up in the chat. I greatly appreciate you being here. Well, those that are here live earn a virtual currency. Junkie Joe should be coming up here in just a moment, and you'll be able to check how many bucks that you have. What are bucks? They're junk bucks. It's just a virtual point system that I have created on my account when we're live so that you can redeem those once you get to 2000 for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So you can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have. And if you have 2000 and you're ready for a coupon code, type exclamation point award. And my official note takers will take down that information. Now, if you haven't already created an account on my website at lindaisrael.com, please do so. And then send me a message through the contact form, letting me know what your YouTube username is. Why? So I'll have your email address address and I can email you your coupon code. Also, if you make a donation throughout this live stream, you can be added to my YouTube donators membership that I have on my website. So again, create an account, say, hey, Linda, I donated and tell me what your username is on YouTube if it's different. That way I can get you added to that. At the end of this stream, I will have journals made and you will have the opportunity to win one of those journals. Throughout the live stream, we'll have some various raffles and we also have in-chat games. So be looking out for that in the chat and I'll kind of speak it up when I get to it. For example, if you type exclamation point raffle, right now you can be in a chance to win 200 junk bucks. So you'll be well on your way to getting 2,000 junk bucks. Normally, Robin is my official note taker. Sometimes Angelica is my official note taker. It kind of depends on what's going on. These are members and administrators of my Facebook group, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. If you haven't joined that group, we'd love to have you come and join us over there. What else? Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. Hey, if you have a question, try to put it in all caps. That way I'll see it. If I don't see it, please don't be offended. The chat sometimes moves fast and I'm usually looking down trying to create things. So please ask again. But if you know the answer that someone else to someone else's question, please go ahead and answer for them. I greatly appreciate that. Let's see, what else? Oh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can't post your link, but you can say, I have a YouTube channel and tell us a little bit about it. Tell us your channel name, something like that. Tell us what you do. We're going to get started here in just a moment. I'm looking at the time. So roughly five minutes is when uh, I'll get started. So it should be just a few more seconds. So definitely hang out in the chat and we'll get started here in just a moment.
I think we made it. I think we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. Woohoo! I apologize for being late today. My uh, doggies were scheduled, and I don't know why I did it this way, but we scheduled them for their grooming appointment. And my groomer called or texted me and said they were ready at 3.20. We had hoped that it had been sooner, so I was rushing across town to get the dog. So I'm here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have y'all here today. I hope you've been well. I hope you've enjoyed some of the recorded tutorials that I have been sharing. Hey, let me know by saying in the chat that you've watched those and what you thought of them. And if you could, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and of course share it with your friends. What else? I am back from vacation and I have lots to tell y'all, but we're going to kind of get started here. We're working on a heart themed journal and I'm in the other room. I'm printing another page because I just realized I didn't have the page I wanted. So over the past couple of weeks, we've made a few pages. I'm trying to get them here. So for example, here is a page that we made and it has a pocket. This is the challenge for January was to make an envelope pocket and this little heart holds the flap down and then you can open it up and you have a little journal card. Close this back up. There is some writing space in here where I took a couple of book pages and punch a heart shape and did some stamping and stenciling on one of Norella's digital downloads. Hey Norella, I hope you are well. Um, this is also a digital download in the background from Norella. This was a tear off notepad and then this is another digital download with the heart on there and oh, I've, I looked it up before I left on the cruise. I can't remember which digital that is of Norella's. I think it's one of the shabby, shabby something possibly, I don't know. And then here's some cards that I made. We also made this during one of my lives where I fussy cut out this heart and then I showed y'all using this doily, how to make this little flipper piece that when we bind the journal, so let's pretend it's bound right there. This piece will flap back and forth on the page. This has a journal card in there that I just thought was perfect for framing the sentiment. And then if you write on this and you'll have the writing in the background, so that'll make a neat texture to the page. And this was one of the major pages that we made. There is did I do a tutorial on this or did I do it live? I can't remember. I think I was going to do a tutorial and I don't know that I've done it yet. This is a little heart pocket that Norella has and I've added all kinds of goodies to that. But I showed y'all during two different lives how to take an envelope and add other papers to it. This is a little notepad and make this little flip. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little flip over um, doodad. This piece right here is actually on the flat portion of a envelope. And then here's the envelope that also has a little writing space in there. And then you flip this over and you have writing space here as well as there. Then we have an altered paper clip holding a card over here and then there is additional space in here with some goodies on it. Looks like I've got some threads going everywhere. And of course this was a, another journal card that was popped in here. So there's lots and lots and lots. I made this one off camera. This was using the hearts up and down I believe. These are from my chipboard pieces. And I painted them purple and then I stamped love yourself. It's a new rubber stamp. 
Spring Blush. Thank you, Norella. That was from Spring Blush. And then here I used one of the chipboard hearts and traced it onto a piece of paper that I had used my brayer in some acrylic paint. And then I stamped with the Leaf Trio. I believe that's what it is in the background there, if you can see that. And then I did Follow Your Heart. So those are some of the pages that I have made and we've got stuff laid out here to make another page this is a eight and a half by eleven piece of paper that has been trimmed to this size that was a composition notebook page and they're stitched down the middle so i pulled it out and then i trimmed it so that the lines are going in the right direction so when you look at things, see how you can figure out a way to make them work. In this, my case, I took out the stitching. Spring blush. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Amanda Dawn, congratulations for being here. I greatly appreciate you. Um, so this has already been sprayed with, I don't know what colors of Tattered Angels. I found these in my stash. I've got another one here. I don't know if we'll get to it or not, but I got one out that I thought we could use. And I thought what we could do is, let's do some stenciling. So I'm looking over here for my heart stencils. And I really like using my new little, little hearts stencil. So we're going to use that one on here. Let me grab a scrap of paper. So uh, we went on vacation and we went on a cruise. We had a fabulous first week of our cruise. I uh, got to celebrate with Henry our 30th wedding anniversary. So congratulations to us. Yay. <laughs> what color do I want to use? I think I want to use a teal this time. Um, we went snorkeling. We got to go to a bird. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know that it was a sanctuary, but it was a a little uh, kind of like a petting zoo in that you paid a fee they gave you a cup of bird food and you could go in and feed the birdies so it was kind of a neat little thing that we got to see at Costa Maya we went uh, snorkeling in Belize along the barrier reef there and I meant to look it up before I did my live stream but I forgot there's a reef that runs from the peninsula, the Americas, down through Belize, a little bit further down. And it's like a hundred and something, almost 200 miles long. That is this one reef that lots of wildlife, of course, live. And so we got to see that. That was kind of a neat thing to go and see that. I think I need a re-inker for my ink pad. Um, and then we went to Cozumel, and there we didn't do an excursion. Oh, yes, we did. We went to the beach. I forgot. We went to the beach. I forgot about that. All right, so there's some hearts, just real subtle little hearts all over. Um, and then on the last day of our cruise for the first week, I tested positive for you, the you know what. <laughs> Uh, it is a requirement that in order to stay on the cruise ship, you had to be tested. And I tested and did not have symptoms at the time of my testing, but that didn't matter. We were off. <laughs> so we got off the ship and we drove home. And by the time I got home and the next day, I started getting symptoms. And at the same time, poor Henry came down with shingles so it was a good thing that we went home <laughs> because we were both miserable <laughs> this past week <laughs> but we are we're getting on the mid i am tired i have a constant headache and i have uh, upper respiratory congestion so if I sniffle or sneeze or cough, pardon me, I have COVID. <laughs> All right, so now I've got the heart flower stencil, 
and I've got the seedless preserves I'm going to use here. So we have, we're we surviving. Poor Henry is, I think, I think now this is considered like week three because he actually started the symptoms before we left. We thought he had the flu because one day he had a really high temperature and he was having sh shivers and then he would have you know, moments of sweating, and then he got better. He was fine. So we were thinking, okay, good, this is fine. Then he started to get this little bit of a rash on his chest. And we thought, okay, what is this? Is this from stress? But it was really faint. It was hardly there. So I gave him some Benadryl, and that seemed to be no issue. But as it progressed, it got worse and worse and worse. And it started mid chest and wraps all the way around to the middle of his back only on one side which that's what shingles do and so he is in the stage now where there's the blisters are kind of scabbing over and it hurts to move oh no julie i hope i pray that you know maybe by the end of this week his will be to the point that it was just a memory <laughs> But we will never forget our 30th wedding anniversary. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, stress for me. Well, I also learned that the vaccination for the plague can also bring on the shingles. That was something Henry learned. All right. So, <laughs> oh, no. Yet on your, oh, that's terrible because you can't sit. One of my friends, she had it on her derriere and it was hard, terrible because she couldn't sit. She couldn't get comfortable. It was just awful. I just couldn't imagine. I just could not imagine. I've never had the chicken pox, but we are going to look at getting the vaccination for the shingles for me to see if that hopefully will prevent it. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. So there I have gone in and added the hearts on here let me look at my stamps i think you know i have a couple of these butterflies and these are from i think i can't remember if these are the butterfly pink butterflies that norella offers or if these were some of the butterflies that were in the victorian rose but she has several sets of butterflies in her shop as a digital download and i've added tulip dimensional glitter paint and i just realized that there's different um types of the glitter paint there is diamond glitter diamond glitter and then there is um crystal sparkles oh margie thank you so much for your donation and thank you ruby lily i didn't see that earlier thank you um so this crystal sparkle has kind of a green iridescence to it and the diamond is definitely just very sparkly and clear uh, no we have not gone to a doctor so we're just self-medicating Yeah, I've had the chicken box vaccine, and we think if I had the chicken pox when I was a child, it was very mild that no one even knew I had it. My brothers had it. My best friend had it. I went to school, and lots of my friends at school had it, but I never presented with an actual case, so we're not real sure. So we're thinking about talking to a doctor and see if I need to get the vaccination. All right, so I have here. This is the, I think it's called Winged Heart. It's in a heart stamp by Beeline Designs. And I'm thinking maybe this would be kind of cute to stamp it at the top and then put the butterfly on top. So do I want to just stamp it in black ink? You know what? I haven't done it in a while and I think I will. Let's do some embossing. So I've got some clear embossing powder. And since this is blue, let's do this in the seedless preserves. So what I'm going to do is stamp this on top.
Okay, so I'm getting it nice and inked up. It's nice and juicy. And we're going to put it somewhat in the center top here and stamp. And since this is the Distress Oxide ink, the embossing powder will stick to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of embossing powder on there. Let's return this to the inside of this container. And then while I've got this out, I'll go ahead and stamp it again on the other side. Oh, thank you, Robin, for your donation. Well, what we've been reading, there really isn't any meds that help other than for the symptoms. So that's why we didn't go and get treatment. So we've been talking to other people who've had it that did not have any medication either. And they got over it. So I'm, we're praying. He'll be all right. Okay, so now we're going to use our heat tool. Remember, this is not a hair dryer. It is a very hot tool. So we're going to come in here and emboss this. Yay, Janice, want some junk books? All right, so I'm just heating that up. Remember to don't touch it while it is uh, hot. <laughs> Giovanna, thank you so much for helping out by thanking Robin. So it's hard to tell, but it's got this iridescent color change to it. And it has a little bit of texture because of the glitter. But, oh, I hate to cover it up now. Maybe I have a smaller one. That's too big. Oh, I know what I can do. Let's get out. Where did I put them? Oh, here we go. So I did a thing, and it all became because of something else. I had stamped a bunch of these butterflies and put them in a digital file after I, uh, oh, thank you so much, Jennifer, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I scanned them into my computer and the original color was probably this one here with this lighter blues, but then I used the change the color hue of the print and because they were all pretty much the same color scheme. Oh wait, what if we do that one? No, maybe if we do the blue one, this little blue one, then you could tell it. And I told it to do that. And that's how I ended up with all these different colors where there's the green, there's yellow, there's an orange. This is a kind of an orangey red, and this is a more of a pinky red, and this is a hot pink. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of cool to do the work once and then go back in digitally and fix this up. So let's grab a couple of little butterflies here. Maybe this one, because it's smaller, and I think that would look cute on top. All right, so I'm just going to cut those out real fast. You like that with the butterflies? So think about that whenever you're doing a project. If you do a whole page of something, do it all basically one color family, if you will, all shades of blue, all shades of green, whatever. And then Beeline Designs allows you to scan your hand stamped work and then you can print it out. So I just went into my photo editing software and made some changes with 
changing the color hue of the page because I use black ink the black stayed black but everything else change oh yeah I think that would be better on there I don't know if y'all can see that once I add some distress inks I'm trying to look here Gotcha, Janice. I looked at it and it looks like the shot is going to be like $230. And that's not without the, um, that is without the doctor's visit because apparently you have to go to a doctor to get a prescription in order to get the shot. So that's why we're going to look at my getting that because I do not want to get this. Oh, you bought the scissors, Giovanna. Do you like them? I love them. I mean, I have several pair of these Fisker scissors. And if y'all need the link, Giovanna just mentioned, I have a link to my to Amazon so that if you buy something on Amazon, use my link. And I get a little bit of a commission. It's not a lot, but I greatly appreciate that. All right, what do you think by putting that butterfly in there? I'm trying to add a page to the journal that doesn't have a lot of bulk. So by just stamping directly onto the page and then doing very minimal um, adhesive of a element, it doesn't bulk up too much. And I'm wondering if I want, no, nope, that's not enough. I think, I think just the little butterfly in the middle will be good. Hello, Beverly. Hello. Oh, what did I miss? Suzanne. Oh yeah. Yeah. Suzanne uh, got the monochrome journal. Yay. I'm so glad that you like it. And that you're enjoying it. I greatly appreciate your support and purchasing that journal. I hope you enjoy having it every day. All right, so we'll put that right there. Let's flip this over. Uh, thank you, Robin. Robin shared the link for the Fisker's journals. Put that one right there. So I started with the idea of using this butterfly but the heart was smaller, so I didn't use it after all. Since you can kind of see the heart on this side just a little bit, here's what I think I might do then, is let's grab, let's grab a, oh, let's see here. I've got from the chipboard pieces, I have this larger heart that was in there. And what if we were to cut that heart out of something and then we could put the butterflies in the center of that heart? Hey, we've got a plan now. I've got, this is some paper that book page that I am. Um, used my brayer on after I was gel printing and so I was cleaning my brayer off so I love how this came together yay I'm so glad so here's what I'm going to do is I think what I want to do let's use the trio leaf trio let me get a scrap of paper here I just had one and I think I want in this area over here, I may do it at an angle just for, um, I don't know. I may do it so that you're getting a different type of texture. I may do it straight up and down, but I'm going to stamp the leaf trio. I'll just go ahead and go a little bit all over. Because you can always use this for something else later on. Okay. Put that over 
here. So I'm looking at this. I think I want, I was, I was going to do this side, but I think I want to do this side. So I'm just going to put my heart on here. I put my heart on the page, which is different than putting your, having, wearing your heart on your sleeve. <laughs> and so I'm going to go around this. I've got a little pencil here. When I made these little hearts, I was like, how can I do this so that I can have a variety of different shapes of hearts that I could paint or I could trace or I could cover with paper. There's all kinds of options. All right, let's cut these two guys out. Oh, I've got a mess going on here. Come on. I made a page tab and I have some thread on it, but the thread had little loose loops and they snagged onto my pair of scissors here. Okay, just put, uh, I thought it was leaf trio. Just put leaf and see what you can find, or, uh, Robin. I thought it was Leaf Trio. It's new. It's a relatively new stamp. So if you were to go to the rubber stamps and then sort by latest, it should come up in the first page or two there. I have, I've already closed the window so I can't search. I thought it was called Leaf Trio. Thank you, Suzanne, for your donation. <laughs> it's a leaf. I know it's a leaf. <laughs> I thought it was a leaf. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll put the link in the description box after the live stream. But I'll put the link in the description box after the live stream if Robin can't find it. All right, so I'm just going around the edges with some distress ink. What do you think? We're just putting that on there. And then if we put, I've got this little butterfly. And I happen to have because I did it for another page, some cheesecloth. I know Robin's favorite. Uh, cheesecloth. And I may just put a little piece on the page. So I'm going to glue that up here on the top. Okay. If y'all haven't already entered the raffle, please do so. All right. Let's put that right here. And then we're going to put down a little bit of cheesecloth. I'm trying to decide if I also want a little bit of just white cheesecloth since I've got that pink. So I'm going to take my scissors here, cut a little piece and see if we like it. Cheesecloth! <laughs> uh, thank you, Suzanne and Mrs. Edmondson and Robin and Margie and Ruby for your donations. I greatly appreciate you. All right, so I'm just going to get a little piece of this. Okay, here we go. So I think just having a little bit of both kind of gives us a nice little texture behind here, but it's not super bulky. Boo, cheese, cheese cloth, Robin says. Terrible, Robin. Just terrible. All right, so I'm going to put a little extra glue down. So now I'm putting some glue on the butterfly. And put it like this. I got an acrylic block, so we'll just do the same thing over here. Hey, Janet. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I hope you are well. I'm surviving. I will survive. All right, so now I've got 
Do I already have a little piece? Okay, here's a little white piece. It's sticking in my fingers because I got a little glue on them. Let's do that. Okay. All right, now you just cooperate. I tell you, I need you to cooperate. Stick it to my fingers. All right, put that down there. And then we'll put a little butterfly on top. Well, I hope everybody's doing all right. We've got another spammer. Don't click on those links unless it's for me or Robin. Okay, y'all. She'll kick them out. All right, we'll put a acrylic block on this one as well. That's how, you, oh, that's how it goes, Laura. You know, I have lost so many things over the years. It's crazy how much I have lost. So I totally understand that. I know how that will work. <laughs> it, it's, you know, kind of a pain in the tuchus because you get something and it's like, where did it go? I cannot find it. And usually when I have decided it didn't matter anymore, I don't need it anymore, then I'll find it. It'll be there. It'll be like, oh, well, here it is. <laughs> it's like, I couldn't have found that a week ago. All right. I was trying to see if I could, I guess I've got this categories. I know I put that leaf in here. Well, maybe I didn't get it added. I thought I did because I don't see it right now. All right. Well, I'll make sure to get it added, but it's supposed to be three different leaves. So that's why it was called leaf trio. And I thought it was a cool stamp. I can't believe it's not in there. Okay. We'll get rid of this. All right. All right. This isn't all the way dry yet, but now we can see the butterflies. I have put a sentiment on here. So let's look for a sentiment to see what we want to say today. And what do we got here? Um, memories. We could do don't forget to fly because we've got that butterfly. And maybe we'll do something like, this is follow your feelings. Let's see if I've got some strips of paper here. So I, whenever I cut off part of a page, when I'm working on things, I will save these little strips. So here's one. And... Here's one. I think they might be big enough. Let's see. So let's do, um, don't forget to fly. A little block. Put that in the middle here. And I'm going to use my archival inkjet black. All right, let's see if I can do this. I have to kind of get my head over it. Oh, thank you. You got your list made. Yay. Okay. So we're going to go right here and stamp. Don't forget to fly. Oh, and I just realized that I stamped it on. Oh, well, I think it'll work. This looks like it gets skinny. So I'm going to stamp it again right next to it. There we go. And then. I'll cut these apart and we'll add some distress ink and add that to our page and I'll throw this in my bin again and then we'll get this one out what did I say follow your feelings let's do follow your feelings this is a new set it's part of the um, celebrate your creativity. It says celebrate your creativity, create the world you want to see my happy project and follow your feelings. These are some of my new stamps. 
Got your list made. Thank you, Robin. All right, so we're going to stamp that. Do I have it on the right side? Yeah, this is the side I want. So I'm going to stamp it. Follow your feelings. I had put up a request in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group for people to tell me what sentiments or sayings you would like to see on a rubber stamp. It was no obligation to purchase them. So I got some great input and I made these into rubber stamps that I now offer in my shop. All right, so let's add some distress inks and we'll put these on our page. Okay, can't get my fingernails are so long now. I need to get them trimmed down. <laughs> I can't get a hold of anything. <laughs> Awesome! 57 pages. Wow! That's a lot, Janet. I haven't even got all of mine indexed. I've got several pages to hold them, but I haven't gotten them indexed like this one, where I made sure that I have the name on there so I could look at it and know what the stamp was. So congratulations! Good job! Hey, Rhonda! I thought of you today. I did some gel printing this morning, which reminds me, what did I do with those pages? Um, I made some gel prints, and I used some of that paint that you sent to me in my little package. So thank you for that. Yay! Thank you. I'm I'm surviving. I'm I'm on a lot of medication at the moment <laughs> to keep my uh, head working. Okay, do I want to put it here? Or down below to the side. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I think over to the side like this. Don't forget to fly. And I'm looking at it and I think it needs a little something behind there. So, what if I have a little bit bigger piece of paper here? Yeah, if I did that, what color should I make it? I think the blue. So I'm grabbing the Distress Oxide ink. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm looking at this. I need it to be long enough that this will fit on here like that. So I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to take the ink pad and go directly to the page. I like this look because it kind of gives it a little bit of a distressed textured look. And then I'll take the, don't forget to fly, position that on top and trim it. And now I'll put some distress inks around there. Now you can see that text, poke, poke, nudge, nudge. All right, y'all get in on the raffle. Get it on the raffle. Let me finish this page. You know what? I may go ahead. Do I have enough? Follow your feelings. I do. I'm going to go ahead and do this side as well. So I'm just rubbing the ink pad over the paper. That'll give it a second to dry. All right, so we're going to add some distress inks to the edges and we'll glue these together. Okay, get this one. My fingernails are almost the same color as the ink pad. All right, so let's cut this one down. And I heard some, uh, well, I read some sad news about our junk journaling community. Those of you that knew the papered soul 
Laura Bain. She passed away in a tragic accident in her home. I do not know the details of that, other than it just said tragic accident. So I pray that it's not a common accident, that we don't have to be concerned that it may happen to us. Maybe it's just completely one of those crazy things that you never expect to see, but it's sad. She's just a few years older than me, not by much. They just celebrated their 33rd wedding anniversary, so she will be missed in our community. Oh, thank you, Beverly, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is so sad about Laura. I agree, Robin. That's just... It just shocked me when I read it. I was like, wait, what? Of course, there's been several people that have died this past year that are in my friends list that had um, had COVID. That's two. Yeah, three years younger than you, Bonnie. Yeah, she's close to my age. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, no. Sad, sad, sad. All right, I'm going to glue these together and then we'll glue them down. We're going to have a raffle here in just a moment for 200 junk bucks. Those junk bucks you can redeem for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So if there's things here that you're seeing that you would just love to have, well, save your junk bucks till you get to 2000 and you can redeem them for a $10 off coupon. All right, so we're gonna put, don't forget to fly right here out to the side. Today has been a day. I understand that. Uh, by the way, those of you that purchase through my website, especially if you are a subscriber, I encourage you to go look at what card you have on file so that your next subscription doesn't cancel for non-payment because it gets declined. Maybe you've got a new card or your card is ruled out of date, compromised. Make sure you check that. Thank you, Rhonda, for your donation. I think we'll put the follow your feelings right here in the middle below. Oh, uh, well, I kind of look every once in a while through my friends, not very regularly, but every once in a while. And, and then I'll notice that someone is posting on someone's wall that they had passed. It's just like, oh, it's so sad. I know that I still have friends on my list that are deceased. I think I have several. I, I mean, heck, my mom is still in my friends list. And, of course, she's been dead several years now. Okay, I like it. What do you think? You like that? Love that little touch of blue. It's just a little touch. So it just kind of brings out a little bit in there. Okay. Another page made. And let's do for 200. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I wasn't done yet. I made these page tabs that I wanted to put on there. So I think I'll put them in the middle, maybe, right about there. I think that'll be good. I'm going to glue these down real fast, and then we'll go to the sewing machine after we do the raffle. That way the glue can be drying. So I'm just going to put that right about there. Close that over. And what I'll do is I'll go to the sewing machine and we'll stitch there. So this is a warning for the sewing lamb. Thank you, Giovanna. Oh, thank you, Nadine, for your donation. Thank you, Giovanna, for creating the little lamb. What is the next subscription box? The next subscription box is called Wild and Free. I haven't finished updating the complete description on my website, but if you go to my website, my landing page, 
and click on subscribe now or order now box right there at the front page it'll take you to the subscription and i do have a video that shows a flip through of all the items and i'll give you a sneak peek because i just saw one like this is the cover for the subscription box so you get all these cool designs and patterns and then this is the half sheet of the stencil pattern that's in the subscription box of one of the three stencil patterns but here is the front journal cover so yeah um i haven't i may do a sneak peek next week but you can see the video now it is up there now all right that's better so we're going to sew on that Let's do the 200 junk bucks raffle, and then I have another little raffle we'll do here. All right, giveaway, and the winner of 200 junk bucks is Creative Nana, aka Sheila. Congratulations! We'll get 200 junk bucks added to your account, and then once you get to 2,000, you can redeem those for ten dollars off all right so this is for some heart um heart ephemera i have some cards that i made a while back so i'm going to share these with y'all this one says follow your heart and this is like a little notepad i took some scrapbook paper and glued it onto a piece of scrapbook cardstock and stamped a heart on there and then this is one of Norella's kits where I layered all the elements I have the heart layer card Robin shared the link earlier I used a piece of book page and it's even got some bling and then I found these tags I think I made them I don't know I punched these or someone gave me a whole bunch of these that were punched and I cut out a heart and stuck it on top and I left it without a sentiment so whoever gets this can do their own so this will be perfect I thought to send out to y'all early Valentine's so y'all enter the raffle for that and we're going to go over to the sewing machine sewing lamb we get a drink and we're going to stitch down the sides here and I need to go to the uh printer and get a piece of paper make my, my table has been moved all right am i in the shot a little bit all right well, we're just going to stitch down here um i'm going to use regular thread regular needle i don't make any changes as far as that is concerned when i go from sewing on paper to fabric or fabric to paper so I'm just going to line it up here and I've got it set on two and two for the zigzag stitch. It is important that you allow the glue to dry if you glue something down before you sew it because it can gum up your machine. So there it is stitched. I'm going to repeat that over here. So there that one is. Sewing lamb. Get this out of the way. So now here it is on that edge. And basically I have a punch that makes the tab. And so I punched it out of some white cardstock. I put some Distress Oxide picked raspberry over it as well as just regular Distress Ink. I had a little piece of fabric. So I had a little piece of this fabric that I cut a little snippet of. And then I sprayed some cheesecloth and laid that on top. And then I had some thread. If thread is old and you try to use it in your sewing machine, it'll break. 
and it'll just cause a rat's nest and you just will not be happy with it. So I have my old threads in a little tub and what I'll do is I'll just kind of unwind some and then lay it down on my project and then stitch over it and you just kind of get this random fibrous look to it. I don't know. It's just kind of fun. Laura's on a roll. She's getting those junk bucks. All right, let's put this back in here. I'm going to clean my stamp off. That distress oxide, you, it will transfer if you reactivate it with another color. So I always try to clean it off my stamp. All right, I'm going to grab something off my printer. I'll be right back. Doo, doo, doo. And I just got to figure out what I did with them. I don't want to show you yet. Where did I put them? Did I put them up here? No. Ah, here it is. So I made a gel print this morning. I, I just had to get it out of my head. You know, if you're ever got a thought, you're like, I want to try something. I want to get this done. Sometimes you can't do other things until you finish that task and get that cleared out of your head. Well, I needed to clean off my gel plate. And so I thought, well, I'll play around. And what I did was I loaded up some acrylic paint and I used this heart from the heart duo and stamped it on my gel plate. Then I went back in with the hearts up and down and added that in here. Then I took a piece of bubble wrap, which I think I've moved, was laying here, but now I don't see it. Well, I took a piece of bubble wrap. Did I put it in here? Well, good grief. I just had it. Anyhow, and I pressed that with some gold paint. And then I put white or ivory paint on the background and lifted it. And so that's how I ended up with this gel print. Well, I have been playing around with hues on my printer. And here it is where I bumped it up a little bit far as brightness is concerned. And I printed it on some cardstock. This was a dictionary page. And then I went in and changed the settings. And I wanted to show you, this is the original, okay? Up here at the top, that's the original. Here's, oh, I did print this already. I didn't know I had printed it already. And then here it is by changing the hue. So it's the same print. I just went into my settings and just kept fiddling with it. And what's cool about this is because I picked colors that they originally went well together, that when you start changing the hue, it automatically changes all the elements. Remember, this was pink, this was blue, this was gold. And so it just kind of changes the color just a little bit. I mean, can you see just the slight variations from each one? Oh, that was just on regular copy paper. I printed some on cardstock and some on copy paper. I don't know. I was having fun with this idea, and I just had to do it today. And so we're going to use one of those for the cover, I think. And maybe, you know what? I'm looking at this one. And was that a fun idea? I mean, if you've got a scanner and you can scan it in, you can play with it. I think I'm going to use that one in the journal. So I'll put this up here. Save that for another day. All right, so I'm going to use this in the journal, but I don't have anything on the back side. And I think I have here. No, is this it?
Well, I was trying to see. This is something I started earlier, and I think I'm going to change my mind about doing it. Here we go. I had some pages that I kind of sorted in the concept of what I thought I want to put together. So since I've got this on one side, I'll have this on the other side. So it'll be like this complete total opposites on either side. And then I have some elements that I thought we could use to decorate the page. So what I'm going to want to do first is look at this. And I think what we should do is make this a pocket page that you can load this way. And I'm looking at my time. It's almost five o'clock now. Thank you, Janice. Thank you so much. Yeah, changing the hue did that. Isn't that cool? Okay, now my question is, would y'all like a digital file where I have already done the changing for you? Then all you have to do is hit print. If you would like a digital file of this heart gel print, I'm just call it heart gel prints. And I just named them like, this is purple and green-ish. I think that's what I put. And you know, I have purple and pink and pink and blue or however the hue came together. All right. How much time do we have? Okay, I don't I don't want to put lace on the page, but I do want to go around the edges real fast with distress ink. And I'm trying to decide if I want to glue these back to back. These are my heavier copy text weight paper. So it's not as thick as cardstock when you put two together. Yes, call it jelly hearts. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. I I wasn't real sure if y'all be like, come on, Linda, they're all the same color <laughs> scheme. I mean, they're all the same pattern. But I went in and changed it and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Ooh, this one's kind of cool too. So I just started saving them and I was like, okay, I wonder if they're gonna want this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Call it Jelly Hearts. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. There's another page that already has a pocket in it. And I'm trying to think of time because I have not figured out how I'm going to put the cover together yet. But I wanted to use one of these heart pages in here. A bone folder. I like using the bone folder because that helps smooth out that glue and you don't end up with those ripples. If you have huge ripples, you're using too much glue. Okay. You have a good idea sometimes. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Jelly hearts. All right, so this will be this side. And I have another painted page that I thought might look cool with this heart behind it. Maybe we'll just do it as a decoration, not a function. You know, there's a lot of times that I make elements on a page that they serve a purpose. They're there to offer more journaling space or they have a place where you can tuck another thing to have more journaling space but sometimes we just need to decorate a page so i'm wondering if i change my mind because this is a different pink 
I don't know. I'm trying to stay away from just using pink, pink, pink. But I'm wondering if we were to fussy cut this. Oh, thank you, Laura, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just kind of loosely fussy cutting that to see if I like that better and we'll figure out what color to paint the heart on top <coughs> pardon me see I told you I sneeze it just comes randomly and then usually I have to go blow my nose so <laughs> If you, if we get, if I get excited, you do too. <laughs> well, I was, I was pretty excited about it. I was like, oh, I like how this turned out. This is kind of cool. I'm trying to use up the paper that was on my desk. I'm going to close this over as a journal page. All right. So if we put this on here. I'm, I kind of want to, you know, it says love yourself and we have the butterfly coming out the top. So what color, what color should I paint the little heart? Should we paint it silver? We have a metallic silver here. I wonder how that would look painted silver. It's only paint. So I'm going to turn this over and paint this side. Grab a paintbrush to paint chipboard. If, if the weather would stay, I understand that too. All right. So I'm going to use this metallic silver. And I'm just kind of quickly going to go over it. Because the chipboard is brown, I did not pre-treat with a white or ivory. So I want to see how this silver looks. And if we don't like it, we'll paint over it. It's no big deal. See, now I'm starting to sniffle. <laughs> it's like, ah, I'm so sick of this. And I basically almost got two coats because I'm going back over it. All right, so I'm going to lift it off this paper so it doesn't stick. I'll go ahead and clean my paintbrush off in case we end up changing to a different color. All right, I put the heat tool down on the floor, apparently. All right, silver. You think silver would be pretty? Okay, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my camera's off kilter. All right, we're drying the paint. It kind of has this metallic, kind of a pearlescent look to it, doesn't it? All right, and that's how that looks. So let's see. I haven't, I'm going to add some distress inks to it, I think. Oh yeah, I think that silver looks pretty cool, don't you? Oh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let me get my brown. I'm going to use my walnut stain and kind of go around the edge a little. Which I know, we're I'm bringing back in that brown, but it's a little different because it's just going to peek out every once in a while. So every once in a while, there's a little bit of a brown. So it kind of gives it that vintage -y feel. All right, let's put that over here. Put that back up there. Okay, I think I like that. We're going to glue this together. You love that? Okay, good. Purdy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to glue the heart down. The chipboard heart. And this is a set of four. 
chipboard hearts that you can get. They're laser cut in my shop. If you have a subscription with me or you have donated, you'll have your YouTube donator membership or your subscription membership and you get a discount on items in my shop. Yeah, even the drop sheet is pretty, isn't it? Just, just by putting the stuff over that. I think my drop sheet's getting kind of... <laughs> I think I am going to make this a pocket. Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to make it where it's down the sides here. So just like this. And over here. So it'll be a, a little bit of a pocket. And I'm going to place it down just a tidge. Just a smidge. Tidge, smidge. So you can see the butterfly when there's nothing in the pocket. All right, and then I have um, this journal card, and I have this journal card, so I'm looking here. I think this one. Okay, so this journal card was a book page that I had sprayed with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Then I stamped the post postmark collage. I think that's what it's called. I traced a heart and fussy cut it out of this piece. I backed it with one of the prints from Norella where she used my stencil designs. And then this is the little flower swag and choose joy. And then I stitched around the outside edge. And this is on a piece of craft cardstock. And I thought that might be kind of pretty. Oh yeah. Just kind of peeking out the top here. All right, so let's look at this side. You know, I don't have a heart on here yet, but I do have one of Norella's from the Victorian Rose digital kit. I just realized my pages aren't lined up straight. That's annoying. I'm trying to get a little bit straighter. So what if we put this guy here and now my nose is going to run. I'm going to get rid of that. Pardon me a moment. I'm going to mute. Because <laughs> I, I, I get annoyed listening to someone blow their nose. So I don't want you to have to listen to it too. <laughs> cleaning my hands. I've got some alcohol here in my craft room. All right. I like this little piece. I think I need a heart behind it. And I want to figure out the best style. Okay. I think I know what I do. Looking here. Whoopsie. Oh, I have that piece. I could use it. I think this is too big. These are my heart stencils. And I thought maybe... No, you can't really tell that it's a heart. It's too, too big. That when I cut it down, it won't look right. But I do have this little piece and I have this heart. I've already used it once. So I'm going to do it on this side. I probably should have done it in a different color, but I already have this piece of paper on my desk. And sometimes I like to just use what I have. Okay. Yeah, mute. <laughs> you need those junk bucks so bad, Margie. Yeah, how many do you have now? Hey, did you get a box for me, little lady? While I was on vacation? Just checking. Make sure you got it. I sent Margie 
all of the journals and prizes she's won. Oh, and that reminds me, I haven't, I gotta publish a video I haven't published yet. Okay, so I was thinking something like that, but see now it's too pink. So I saw, now my nose itches. I saw the light. I saw a doily. I know I saw one. Well, Pookie, where did I go? Ah, found one. There we go. Now that looks better, doesn't it? With that little collage. Just a little bit collagey. All right, we'll go ahead and add some distressings. Yay, I'm so glad you loved it. You love the cat journal. You've been on it. Make a cat journal, make a cat journal. So I made one. I've got a tutorial that shows how I made the cover. I have, they're in the other room. They're not in here. Those are not for personal use. Those are business use. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think I like that. I'm trying to decide. I think I may just put it right in the middle. Yeah, because then you see beautiful below it. Yeah, we're, that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to glue down the doily first. She's like, you have a stack of doilies, Linda. Well, yeah, I put them in y'all's subscription boxes. That costs money. I can't just use them willy-nilly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to put that right in the middle. Smooth it out. <laughs> Don't be rolling your eyes at me. I'm still trying to decipher what you did. <laughs> I looked at it the other day, and I'm like, I just don't feel like do looking at this. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I may make you come over and finish what you started, Robin. <laughs> All right, do I want to put the heart in the center with the flower offside, or do I want to center those two pieces? I'm looking at the, I think like that. Okay, so I'm going to... Glue down the heart. Here we go. Y'all into the raffle if you haven't already. All right, we'll put that right there. What? <laughs> when I test negative, okay. <laughs> Well, according to the CDC, it says if I'm no longer having a, a fever and my symptoms have gotten better, then I'm not contagious anymore. <laughs> okay, I like that. All right, and then we're just going to go over here. And I'm thinking my nose itches really bad. All right, do we like that color on top? I think I do. I kind of it's a kind of a green, and I think what we can do is stencil on top of that real lightly, and put one on each side, and that gives us some writing space on that page. We'll maybe do a stamping around the outside edge. Yeah, and I would like to trust the CDC. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm try I haven't counted because I still see a stack of chipboard pieces in the other pile. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, can I put this away or do I need to make some more? <laughs> yeah, gotta leave something for me to do, right? All right, so I think. I think I want to put that on there. We're going to do the raffle here in just a moment. 
And I know I use this stencil a lot, but I think I want to use it again. I'm going to clean it though because the last time I did some distress ink on it, I don't want that color to show up. So I'm just spraying it with a little bit of alcohol and then I've got a paper towel laying here. Especially when you use distress inks, that'll come off. I could also take it to the sink. See, it's coming off. And if there's any tattered angels on there, that'll clean it off as well. Okay. I'm going to use that in a moment. And I need to get a prize. <laughs> oh, here we go. But oh, we'll just do this. Okay. Got it. I got a prize. I got a prize. <laughs> it's not my fault I came home early. <laughs> Someone exposed your entire family at your mom's funeral. I understand, Jennifer. That's crazy. See, that's I haven't gone anywhere. You still have lingering symptoms, but you're going on 14 days of quarantine. Yeah, exactly. If the guidelines had worked, you wouldn't have got sick in the first place. Exactly. I, yeah, see, and I was wearing my mask. I was social distancing and I still got it. So, and I've had the, the vaccine. So let's go over here. But I will say that this time around, did y'all get in on the raffle? There's not very many people in here for these heart items. Um, that the first time I got COVID was in January 2020 before it was cool to have COVID. No one knew what it was. And I was sick for a month with that crap. I mean, I, I thought I was going to die. My chest hurt. I couldn't breathe. I had severe headache and sinus congestion. I had stomach problems. I couldn't eat. I, you know, it was, it was terrible. Um, this time, it's just all been sinus, congestion, uh, drainage, needing to blow my nose, sneeze, and then headache. Just the headache. All right. I'll make sure I get y'all in there. Not saying nothing. Yeah, exactly. It only takes two days to feel the symptoms with this very Well, and I think that's what happened to me is I had no symptoms. I tested positive. I'm like, seriously? I'm not sick. And then I got home and I started getting sick. Yeah, see, and if you're not a candidate, I understand that too. That's why I tried to stay away from people and that's why I got the shot. <laughs> Get that bot. Kill it. All right. Suzanne's in the raffle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner. The winner of these heart embellishments ephemera is Janet Carter. Congratulations, Janet. Yay. She is one of my local gals. So she gets to come uh, next month. We're going to get together and make a journal during a, a, a Sunday this time around. Okay, let's reset this. Go yes. And we're going to do heart love stickers and journal card. All right. So this is Heart Love Stickers. So there's different stickers in here. Yeah, cardstock stickers. Now I got to figure out how to mail them to you because they have borders and they won't fit in a regular envelope. So this will be fun. So I'll have to find an envelope that I can put this in. <laughs> and then this is a journal card that I made. So I thought that would be kind of a fun thing. Uh, the stickers were given to me, so I'm passing them along to y'all. Okay. So I'm thinking, let's put this guy on here. And we've got purple back there. This is a green. Let's do the teal or mermaid lagoon. So I'm getting my mermaid lagoon. And we're going to stencil some hearts on this little 
tear off notepad paper. Oh, I might help if I get back over here so I can see what's going on. You're welcome, Janet. Yeah, it's, it's not been fun to have COVID. And I feel sorry for those that have the, the worst variant, like that was at the beginning, that caused respiratory issues and whatnot. I feel more sorry for Henry because he's got shingles. And that is no fun. All right, so there's the hearts. That's kind of looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and add some distress inks around the outside edges. And I think maybe I'll look for a border stamp that I want to stamp around the edge. I'm liking this so far. This will go over here. I may move it around a little bit. I don't know. We don't want some of the heart to be seen, you know? Maybe I'll do it down in the lower corner because then you can see those hearts up there. Let's go around the edges. use the curl border connected curl border connected curl border can get that word out eventually connected curl border so we're going to put that on here and stamp it across there across there down the sides, like so. What do you think? That kind of gives it a nice little definition. Oh, four years. That's terrible. Mm. No fun. Okay. I'm kind of liking this. I see a piece of music here. Do I want to put just a little piece to kind of give you that collage look maybe? Put some distressings on this. Ah, oh, Beverly got some junk bucks. Good job. All right, so I'm going to put that right, right about there, maybe. I really want to put it closer to the top. So I may change it in just a moment. All right. So do I like it better up here? I think it's okay. Like that. Putting it up towards the top just a little bit. And do we need maybe another heart layered on here or because we have this piece it's okay i have some smaller hearts maybe there's one that will fit our needs maybe something like that <clears throat> His shingles are starting from the middle of his chest and wrap around to his middle back. That's where his are located. 
which is better than some that I've heard where people said they had them on their derriere or on their head. Okay, let's see. Oh, I found my bubble wrap. All right, let's see what I got here. Ooh, I've got this green. Or I have this bright pink. And I have this piece. I think I'm going to use this piece. These are where I clean off my brayer onto scraps of paper. And then sometimes I was cleaning off and my tools. So you end up with some cool papers. All right, so if I take this and I want to get a heart out of this area, but do I want to go this way or this way? I'm going to go this way. May even go at an angle. Yeah, maybe like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to trace this heart, flip it over and trace it again. And then I'll have hearts because they are directional going in different directions. These are from my, I think there's like 29 different heart shapes in this chipboard set. All right, so now I'm just going to fussy cut this out and let's see how it turns out. Well, I hope that you're kind of liking this a little bit of a relaxed journal making process. It has taken me three different live streams to make this heart journal. Oh, I think that's going to look cool. What do you think with that heart on there? Um, but you're inspired to create, to try something new. This journal, I have made every page pretty much. And they weren't necessarily one particular digital kit, other than I did use several elements from the Victorian Rose digital kit. And I'll offer these heart pages in my shop. Okay, I like that. Just kind of that random look, don't you think? Oh, it's not huge. <laughs> I've I've got it narrowed down to about 10 or 11 pages. It's going to be fluffy. <laughs> it's going to be fluffy. All right, I think I like that. Could be. All right, so I'm going to glue down the piece of music first in the corner. And I'm putting it closer to the top because pockets and whatnot in a journal usually fall down to the bottom of the page. And then your journal is fat all the way across the bottom and not evenly throughout. I am going to do this though. I'm going to fold my page back the other way just because I want to make sure that I put this piece down in the right spot because I want a, you know, a little bit of a border around it and then be able to put the heart on top of that. Okay. Robin, are you reporting those bots or are you just blocking them? I don't know if I can go back in after the live stream and report them. I think I want to change this to this side. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and put this one here.
All right, and then we'll flip this over, and this piece is going to go up here. Okay, thank you. I wasn't sure if I had to go back in and report it to you. It's like, we don't need that kind of stuff. Just leave us alone. We're crafting people here. We don't need your, wherever your link is trying to take us. <laughs> All right, we'll put that right there. Gotcha. Thank you. Well, I think when we report one, it blocks that one, but they still keep coming. And I guess it works that people click on their links because they would stop doing it if it didn't work, right? <laughs> Just like on your phones, if you get a text message that says, congratulations for paying your bill, here's a reward, do not click that link. <laughs> Tell all of your family, don't click the link. Okay, I like that. And... I'm looking for a rubber stamp. Okay, how about follow your heart? Do we want to just stamp it directly on here or on a scrap? I think on a scrap of paper. And I saw a scrap that I thought would work, but now I don't see it, of course. Aha! Maybe this piece will work. Okay. Yeah, they're fast, aren't they? All right, let's put that kind of in the middle. And then we'll tear it out. Tear it out. I'm going to tear out your heart, man. <laughs> Maybe not. This was some papers that I dyed using Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, well. We'll still use it. Okay. Let's try not to tear this one too close. Now we've got two. Let's get some distress ink and we'll move this together. You don't answer your phone, period. Henry does not like taking phone calls and I didn't understand why until here recently we've really started discussing it. So he prefers text messages and I am annoyed by text messages. <laughs> If we're going to have a full conversation, if it's just brief one liner thingies, then okay, fine. But try to send me the whole message at one time, not one line at a time, because that annoys me. All right, I'm just using my pen to come in here and basically kind of fix where I tore that. It doesn't hurt it. Keep using it. And we'll put this one over here. All right, we got another journal page made. You have a landline, no texting. There you go. Perfect. Uh. Okay, what do you think? That turned out pretty cute using the gel print as the background. And then, of course, when you flip the page, you're going to get a completely different look with the pink. So I, I thought that would just make it kind of a little bit more of eclectic. All right, so where are we here on our journal pages? I think I have enough. All right, so there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight pages and it's, it's kind of fluffy. Okay. So I'm thinking here, I've got, I have some dyed paper. Oh, how about this? Because I haven't really used a lot of green. This was sent to me. So I think I'll use this green. And we don't have a lot of blue. So let's do something with those real fast. All right, so I'm looking at these. And what if we just stamp all over some hearts? Now I've got this pile going on over here to the side. <laughs> so now I can't find anything. Okay. So I've got this piece. So. Okay. I'm going to get this heart out and this heart out. I'm getting the heart out. Oh, this is what I want to do. Move this out of the way. Put this on here. And I'm going to put this one on a block. And so I've got this green. I'm just grabbing a scrap of a book page. And we're going to stamp in the Mermaid Lagoon this heart. I'm not going to ink it up perfectly. I'm just getting some ink on it. I'm going to start kind of off the page to see how well I like it. Okay, I think that'll be good. You can kind of see the texture. And I'm just, I'm inking it lightly because I want to be able to write over it. So I'm just going to move this up and stamp it. So let's kind of go over this way. Kind of that repeating pattern. I should have gone down further. Oh well. Let's go right there and right there. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It adds a little bit of texture. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? And it's just kind of a an interesting pattern across the page. All right, let me clean my stamp off. I've got the uh, winged heart this time. So let's do the same color on this side. And we'll stamp it in the middle. It's not perfectly in the middle, but I'll fix this. So that this side at least. There. Just kind of give us a pretty page. We didn't spend a lot of time on it, okay? All right, clean my stamp again. So this time I have a blue page and this heart has text on it. I'm thinking the bundled sage would work. All right, so again, we're gonna start off the page just a little bit up here at the top. Oh yeah, that'll be pretty. All right, let's see if I can kind of keep a pattern somewhat. Okay. Again, these were some 
papers. I believe Lori Merchant sent them to me. A while back and I've used several of them and I found these the other day. I thought, oh, I want to use those. Oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. All right, so let's put one right about here and right about there. Yes, I like it. I don't know if y'all can see that patterning. All right, let's clean the stamp. We'll put that away for another day. All right. And I'll fold this in half. And let's do some more stamping, but what do we want to put on here this time? Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to stamp this heart in the Distress Oxide in the middle, top, and I'm okay that it's not real bright. I want it to just kind of be in the background. We're going to take my heat tool and heat set it so that'll set up that ink body's back okay and then i'm going to look at this and i think the grunge love would look good and i think i've done that before but i'm okay with doing it again I'm just going to stamp it in black on top. Yeah. Do you see that? Okay. Back over here. Okay, now I've misplaced it. Where did it go? Ah. I think I'm going to use this as the cover. I haven't done anything to this side yet, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages. And every page somehow has a heart on it. So since I've got that, I'm going to look at this for a second. And let's add some Distress inks. I've never had Aline's Tacky Glue turn yellow. I've used Aline's Tacky Glue for 20-something years, and I've never had it turn yellow. So when is it turning yellow? Is it possible that you've got an old batch? Hardy Journal. All right, so what do we want to do for the inside? I happen to have a corner piece here. I thought I had another one. Oh wait, I like this one better. So we're gonna use that corner piece on the inside, even though it doesn't have a heart to it, but that would give additional storage on the inside. So to deal with this being stark white, I'm gonna get out, let's just spray it. I'm gonna spray it with some Tattered Angels. So I've got, this is Artsy Cherry, it's from the So Artsy Tattered Angels kit. Um, it's not cranberry colored. 
I'm not sure which color this is. I've just lost. Oh, what's the color? It looks similar to black cherry. So if I, if you don't want this set, I think I have black cherry. And let's go ahead and grab. We have the hearts up and down stencil. And I've got uh, Royal Peacock. So I'm going to spray that through. Okay. And of course, we're going to mop that up. Oh, I just found some other papers that I made. I need to show y'all. All right, so that's just a mop-up page we can use some other time, but that give us the pattern on the inside so that when I put this pocket down, it's not so plain. I had another gel print that I made a long time ago that was polka dots. It was a, a bright blue teal color. In fact, I think that's it right there. And I did the hue thing again, and here's what I ended up with. I just adore how this has come together, the different colors, just from one gel print. I mean, I, it's still got more. I did a lot more with this one because I kept playing with the hues and got all those colors from one gel print. So I thought that'll be a fun something to use soon and very colorful. Okay. I think I want to put this guy right here in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. This will go right here. Make sure, yeah, it's gonna fit. So I'm gonna glue this down. Have a good night, uh, Julie, or day, because it's day early for you. Thanks for coming. I greatly appreciate your support, lady. Have an amazing day. Okay, I'm trying to hurry, get the cover made so we can finish this heart journal. All right, so for the front here, let's find my big hearts. What if I cut that out? Cut it out. Do I want it out of a blue on the blue? I think that's what I want. Or I have gold. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll cut it out of the gold and see if we like it. If we don't like it, we don't like it. It's no big deal. I'll stamp over it to give it some more pattern. Caught on my fingernail. Let's see if we like this. <laughs> I do not seal my tattered angels. It will eventually stop transferring. If you do not like the transfer, you can use something like hairspray or you can use a Krylon fixative sealer. So it just kind of depends on what you prefer. Um, I have used hairspray in the past and it doesn't really have a problem. I use Aquanet. That's the cheapest one it can get. And it seems to work just fine. So what if we did that heart on top? 
in the gold or should I do one out of the blue? I'm thinking I like the gold. Okay, put that over there. I'm going to add some distress inks to it. Margie is rich. She's rich, I tell you. Oh, yeah, I can make a rainbow journal with my Hue Play Papers. Exactly, Laura. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Freeze them. Robin votes blue. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'll trace the blue out. I'll trace the blue out and cut one out. And I may change my mind again because I'm trying to decide what I want to put on top of the heart. That's why I like these stencils. I can trace them out rather quickly. All right. There's the blue. There's the gold. There's the blue. Aquanet, exactly. I also have pink paper here. You want me to do the pink? You're still washing Aquanet out of your hair from the 80s? <laughs> and the beginning of the 90s. All that big hair. All right, so let me get a scrap of paper here. And I like this. I'll have to find it now. I thought it was called Leaf Trio. And maybe it just didn't get published. Because I swore I remember adding that stamp. I like stamping on top of these painted papers. You like the blue also? I'm going to go ahead and stamp on the gold heart. Blue heart. I have these flowers. Gold heart. What the flowers? I think these flowers. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, I have this rose. Maybe I like this rose a little better. Okay. Shadow with the gold. Something like that. What do you think? Doing both of them? Okay. And then I think... I think we need the word journal on here. See if I've got a piece of paper big enough. Is this one big enough? Maybe this one. Yeah, that one's big enough. So I stamped the word journal from the journal quartet. Maybe something like that. We'll add some color to this piece. 
Let's do a little bit of the picked raspberry. So I gotta find. Not pink, there it is. Pink, I found it. So I'm just gonna pick up some of this and kind of come around the edge. Oh, I have a technique I want to show you too that I kind of came up with if I have the right color. Oh, I do. So I bought these really cheap dollar store markers. And I've got a ruler here. And so these are like a bullet. So I'm going to take my ruler and line it up with the edge. So just a little bit is peeking out. And then I'm going to take my marker and go over the edge. And see how it instantly gives it a little edge there? I'm going to do that all the way around. So this will give you that effect that it looks like you layered two pieces of paper together, but you didn't. You used a marker and you used a cheap dollars marker to do it. And I haven't even added distress ink to it yet. See how that looks completely different? Thank y'all for your donations today. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all are amazing people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Like that. I've got a pile of stuff here. I'm trying to clean up just a little bit. I will want that later. I think maybe I need to get something to uh, use as a closure. But what do you think? You think that's the right look here for the front of our journal with the layers? Oh, so you're saying that I, so I could tuck something in here, Robin? Possibly. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down this heart on top of the other heart. So it's all one piece. trying to decide how I want to go. I think I want to go like this. Need my bone folder. You like love the glared effect with the gold heart? Well then I need to make sure that this piece is right above. So what I'm going to do is come on the back side here and draw a line. And I need to put glue on that side of the line and then I line it back up with the heart again. Okay. So I'm going to put it over here like this. Yeah, the paper's too thin for Between the Hearts, Robin, because they're just book pages. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'll glue down this side of it. I wanted to get it as one piece, but I'll glue down this side 
will have this over the overlapping, but there'll be a tuck from the top that you can, if you want to put something in there, you could. Okay. So I'll put glue on here. Okay. So like that. So we're going to put it down. So I'm going to put glue down this side here so you can tuck stuff this way. Cause I don't know, maybe we want to go from that way. It's really Fran paper, really thin paper. I can't even get the words out really thin paper. All right, I've changed my mind. We're going to glue down this side to the peak. Okay, that looks... I'm also going to put a piece of tape on here. Oh, I'm out of scotch tape. All right, so this I'm going to put right here. I did that so that when you try to use it as a tuck, things wouldn't catch on that paper part. All right, so now line this up. And if whoever gets this doesn't like that tuck on the front, well, you know what? You can just lift this up and glue it down. Okay. Since I've got the journal cover flat, I'm going to use my This Journal Made By rubber stamp and we're going to stamp that in the back cover. This journal made by I'm doing all right. I've, I've took enough medication before I started the <clears throat> live stream. Two, seven, twenty, twenty-two. Okay, we're gonna put the journal together now. I think we're at that point where we can put it together cleaning my hands a little bit. Alrighty. And I have another one of these envelopes that I made out of a tutorial showing how I made these envelopes. I have a new stencil. So I'm going to put the extra one in the cover here. All right. So I'm just kind of moving things back out of the way. Let's lay out our pages. And I have a couple more pages I'm going to make, but I think I'm just going to use them somewhere else. So that's a pretty page. I haven't really shown this page much, but I made flip ups. So this was a book page that I backed onto another piece of paper, cardstock. And then I just cut another piece about the same size, used a piece of fabric. And I did the same over here. And then these are little die cut hearts that I stamped on top of. And then that's a dragonfly rubber stamp. Stencils on the inside, paper punch, rubber stamps. I think I want this to be the dead center of the journal because of all the interactive stuff on it. So we're gonna put that at the beginning. I've got a couple of these text weight papers. But these text weight papers. So I'm thinking for the first page in the journal, let's do this. So we're gonna have that as the first page. And I think I wanna line this up like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I want to kind of figure how I want to do this, like that, like that. Here. Okay. My dog is barking. All right, so we're going to start here. Oh, that's kind of funny because that's the same pattern on the front of the journal. Maybe I should do it this way. I'm going to change it. All right, so now we're doing it this way. <laughs> Crafting is good medicine, exactly. So I'm going to put this right here. So that'll be the front page. I think I like that better. And then we're going to pick up this page. And then this page. And then this page. And then this page. We'll go back to the beginning. So we've got a fluffy page here. And then this page. I've got to remember that this piece needs to go that way. And then we'll put this page in. And then this page. And then our very interactive center page will go in. All right, so let me get my junk journal tools. What does Henry say? Not barking at you. Henry's not here. Well, I don't know what Hercules is barking at. It's being a little took us in there, barking away. Get out all of my tools from my junk journal tools. All right, so I'm going to make sure, since all my pages are the same size, it should fit right in the middle. And I didn't put any lace on this front page. You know, you could add something later if you want. <laughs> Whoever gets this journal. And I am not offended in the least if you get one of my journals and you alter it, you take it apart, you break it up, make it into more journals, whatever you want to do, or write in it, or as Margie likes to do, just pet them <laughs> like her cats. Hmm. Oh, that paper clip went flying. It did not want to stay on the pages. So I'm going to try it this way. All right. So I'm securing all of these together so that I can punch holes down the spine. So I've got my little template here. I'm going to put that in here. We're going to do the pamphlet stitch. I leaf fell made so much noise they are alerting me i no they would never bark at just nothing <laughs> that's not what they do <sighs> somebody probably walked by too close They are meant to be petted, Margie says, not to be used. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do three times the height of the journal. One, two, three. This has been a fun journal to make. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my ideas and the way we constructed things. I didn't do a tutorial on every little thing, but I think if you can get the gist of it. I am going to add the uh, pages as a digital download, the heart, jelly hearts is what we're going to call them, jelly hearts. All right, where's my hole? Thumb by it so I can see it. Sometimes I can't see it. I'm a rebel. She uses the journals to write in them. Silly Robin, don't you know? All right, pamphlet stitch. A lot of people ask me about other ways to do a 
binding of a journal. This is my preferred because it works. It's easy. It's not super complicated. When you use the wax linen thread, it stays relatively tight. You don't have to worry about um, your journal falling apart. All right, so we're taking out all the paper clips. We need to do the last raffle. If y'all haven't already gotten in on the last freebies, which are these heart stickers and one of my journal cards, do that now. I'm going to drink the water and tea. <laughs> And I think I need to find a piece of fabric or ribbon to wrap this with. That's not big enough. Let me see if I have one already. I don't think I do. That's a plain brown blue one. That's not that pretty. Not that pretty. We gotta have something pretty. I need to cut some more fabric. That's not big enough. Oh, maybe that'll work. We'll try it. All right. My nose is itching again. All right. So I'm gonna try to cut about a one inch. I don't think this is long enough. I think I cut this piece. So let's see what happens. It might be just, just long enough to tie around. We're going to try it. It's just enough. And I know it does cover up our front, but I'm going to go ahead and use that. You like the two, the layered hearts? I like how that came out. All right, come through there. I'm just sliding it under the binding on the outside edge. Okay, y'all into the raffet? You like that? Okay, thank you. All right, let's pick the winner of the hearts. And the winner is... Then Mrs. Edmondson, perfect, because I need to bring some stuff to you anyway. So now I can just bring this to you and I don't have to pay for shipping. <laughs> I know, I know, I can be silly like that. All right, so now we're going to do the one heart junk journal. So we're going to reset that, yes, and go here and copy that. Open giveaway. All right. So Margie, Janice, Laura, Nadine, Rhonda, Beverly, Suzanne, the Mrs. Edmondson, Robin, Margie, and Ruby Lily. You all have donated so you can enter the raffle. Hey, Suzanne, did you get my email about your stencil club? You might check. You like the cover? So the cover, as requested by Robin, has a place where you can tuck some, something inside there, okay? And this was a gel print that I made, and I will have this as a digital download. I'll probably, I'm, I'm fading fast. My head's starting to hurt. So probably be tomorrow that I will get that uploaded for y'all, calling it Jelly Hearts. And they'll have the original and then all the other color variations that I made. Oh, I can put it. Okay, I can put it in the subscription box. Okay, perfect. Either way, if, whatever works for you. So thank you. Uh, let me go like this. I'm just trimming off the threads. So we use rubber stamps on here. This is my heart stencil. And then we open this up. This is from the Victorian Rose. This is from the... Um, unicorn dreams page i this pink page is one of my favorite pages out of that kit that norella created and then this was a rubber stamped 
on top of a painted book page from the Victorian Rose and then a doily. So we used a doily. You're welcome, Suzanne. Oh, thank you uh, so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> thank you, Nor Norella. Thank you so much for donating. She likes this heart one. <laughs> um, this is another one of my heart pages, but I just altered the hues. So I like how that is a completely different, but it's the same. <laughs> This is a heart duo rubber stamp in the background. Die cut shape, die cut rubber stamp. This was a little collage that I made out of some scraps that I had on my desk. Doily and cheesecloth. Woohoo! Rubber stamp, rubber stamp, rubber stamp. Stencil in the background with the hearts. And then I cut out another heart and stamped on top of it and made that little layer. Another page here with the stamped heart stamped hearts again and then the flip up page i thought this was kind of fun this was scrapbook paper in the background and what's funny is i had already started this page a while back but i didn't have this embellishment on it so i just added the heart so that's something as well to think about whenever you're making journal pages because you're in the mood to make one you know you've got an idea you just need to have it we'll make it but maybe you don't complete the whole thing maybe you don't put a final embellishment on there that way you can use it in whatever journal you come up with i was able to add the heart and the dragonfly this could be a floral page a dragonfly page and then of course the heart that we use today oh thank you norella you're so sweet she wants one of my journals again this was a franken page this was a scrap that was left over in my stash and i glued it down and used the heart on top. I stitched all of these inner pieces onto the painted page first, then I glued it down and then stitched around the outside edge. And this is one of Norella's shabby floral, I think is what we decided that was from. And I added some Tattered Angels painted lace to the edge. This is a book page on this side. And then it has this journal card here. This is a chipboard piece. So this is a mop-up page. This little heart is a rubber stamp that was on to a piece of book page and then glued to a piece of watercolor paper so it's rather thick. And then this opens up. And then this was a punch card on the front here. And I rubber stamped and layered the heart. And then I glued this doily because y'all want the doilies that it wraps around so it would kind of in theory cover up any writing on the back and then this is my new heart border stamp in my shop so put that back in there go like that this is from my big hearts stencils there's a set of three and i just did this out of a piece of a gel print and then made that so it flips up so you could write on the back or you can right underneath it. I just thought it was kind of interactive. Oh, well, get it done, Beverly. Come on, get busy. And then here's the hearts up and down on some coffee dyed paper from Beeline Designs. And then this is a doily, another doily <laughs> that I spray with Tattered Angels. I have the first uh, week of the heart journal shows how I made that. And then this is another one of these collage pieces that I showed you a little while ago, but just a bigger size here. And I like this little flippy page. Another one of the chip four pieces, the hearts up and down. So different colors, same stencil. Listen to your mom. Um, used a little bit of a uh, scrap of paper and some fabric and thread to make a little page tab. Love yourself is another rubber stamp in my shop. Follow your heart is another rubber stamp piece of music in the background there the love on top of the winged heart this is from the heart duo always get that wrong torn heart duo and then there's the heart duo this is from norella she has a kit that you can make this little pocket and then 
I have this little card that's from her. This is from me. I stamped little hearts on top of the swirly note card. I'm just putting it in the reverse order from, and I just thought, well, I'll just give you all these little embellishments that she has in the kit. And I made this little tag out of a scrap rubber stamped in the background. And then I had punched a piece of paper and I used that negative piece. I thought that was kind of cute. I made a little collage out of the flag by adding the punched heart. That's where this heart came from, but it was done in teal. There's another one, a uh, little scrap of paper, the tiny postcard, a little piece of fabric, some cheesecloth. So that's in here. And then I have the tiny uh, library card that was stamped on some blue paper. And then this is the tiny canning jar. I think I thought called it canning jar. And I stenciled the little hearts inside there. And then this fits in this pocket with the Cherish. Another heart that I cut out. Element from the Victorian Rose. And then here is a pocket that has another one of these envelopes. Oh, it ripped. It's, it's, it's junk journal, y'all. It gets beat up. Has this heart journal card in here. I may put a little piece of tape on there. Oh, I can't put any tape on there. I'm out. I have to get some more tape. All right, so I'm gonna be very careful and push this back together put it in here and then this is an envelope additional flippy thing so this piece is an add-on flip out so you can write on this side you have the pretty here you could write on this piece which is the front half of the flaps if you look down in there you'll see the envelope in there there's a journaling notepad here this is another one of Norella's, but it's from the All About Robins kit. This is the envelope portion. And here I made another little booklet that is made out of some of Norella's new background papers here in the background. These are a using the chipboard pieces as a stencil and cutting those out of a gel print. That goes in here. And then this flips over and you have the back side of the envelope. And it was glued behind this page. That's how we made this pocket here. On this side, I made a little journal card. This was the negative from the car, the page at the beginning that has that heart. And I just stamped on the craft cardstock and then put that down. And then I just sewed a piece of some eyelash and yarn and a uh, piece of lace and then stamped this little card on the back side I went ahead and said life is wonderful and stamped a little heart so technically you do have a two-sided card here and then this is just a very simple paper clip alter paper clip there's another pocket with another one of those envelopes that I just showed a moment ago another one of the journal cards this time you twist it out of the corners and then you can twist it back in so it becomes a decorative element on the page and you have some hidden journal space other side of the dyed paper and then this journal card comes out and you have to be careful because the doily is glued to the back so I'm trying not to catch it I love how this came out I hope you like it too another little pamphlet notebook single page writing space one of Norella's cards that I made into a tutorial these flip up now we're getting to the last pages here we go I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to my live streams I greatly appreciate it I have no idea what I'm gonna do next week I'm getting ready for the subscription box I may do something with the, some of these colorful gel prints that I've made recently and turned them into the uh, different hues. 
If there's something you want to see, do let me know. Hey, if there's something that you really loved about what I shared in this series, let me know by leaving a comment on this video after we're done. And then share this video, the video series, with your friends so they can see some ideas to make their own. All righty. You're very welcome. We're going to pick a winner now. Let me make sure everybody's in here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So who's not in there? We have Suzanne, Margie, Janice, Ruby, Laura, the Mrs. Edmondson, Rhonda, Norella, Robin, and Beverly. Was it Nadine? Nadine is who we are missing. So Nadine, are you still here? Nadine Wheeler, enter the enter the raffle. Share the items you purchased from Linda's shop. Linda Share Linda with your, oh yeah, thank you. Bring them to the live, gotcha. <laughs> oh yeah, share. If you purchase something for me, I would greatly appreciate it if you would go to my website and log in and then leave a review for the product. I, I know that's, you know, I'm begging you for it, but please, because that helps others that don't know me, that they can feel good about ordering for me. So I would greatly appreciate it if you did that as well. I've got a boss fight going. I'm going to wait a moment here for Nadine to see if she gets in. And then we will draw the winner. Um, I'm going to take a rest. Henry should be home shortly. We'll eat some dinner. Uh, what else? I think, I think these polka dot pages are going to be fun. To play with and I made a, another gel print that's now I won't show all of that right now um I made another gel print I made a tutorial on that one but I think these heart prints are gonna be fun okay Nadine is in the raffle congratulations you got in <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could. That's what we'll do. We'll do that. I I have been sick. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um. Next week, I will look at Norella's new ephemera books that she has on Amazon. And these are super cool. I love how they've turned out. So if you don't have access to printing, you can get these printed books and make your own thank you so much Rhonda I'm going to all right let's pick a winner the winner of this heart junk journal is Nadine Wheeler congratulations Nadine you won the journal all right I will probably send it in your next subscription oh thank you Suzanne Aren't they awesome, Margie? Yeah. Oh, that's what we'll do next week. I will show off her ephemera book next week, and we'll make a little something with them. Oh, uh, well, I hope you feel better, Nadine. I know what it's like to feel bad, so <laughs> I'm going to go lay down for a few minutes till Henry gets here. <laughs> thank you all for being here. I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do for me. Again, check the description box to links to products that I use. I will get this stamp added if it's not up there. Um, what else? I'll get the digitals added. So just keep checking back at lindaisrael.com. Y'all take care of yourselves. Hug your family. Tell them that you love them. And y'all have an amazing week. We'll see you next week. Lots of love to everybody. Oh, I just realized I haven't picked on the button to stop the... <laughs> I know it's just now. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the blessings that you give to me. Alrighty, well, I'm going to get off of here. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you next week. Lots of love to you. Bye, everybody. And you're welcome. <laughs>